Okay, 30 minutes. All right, guys, we are store treasure hunting again, and we've got four units in Cincinnati, Ohio that we're trying to bid on. That one's got six minutes left. Uh, this one's got 11 minutes, and that one's got 16 minutes. Let me refresh them all again to make sure I'm right on my time. 16 minutes left. 11 minutes left. Six minutes left. And this one's got uh, three minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and get the high bid at 320 Bid on that at $320. We got that. There's three minutes left on it. And if you look at it, it looks junky in front. But if you look back here, there's a lot of good stacked boxes in the back. This is 28 foot deep. So we don't know what all's back there. That's all stacked up good stuff. So we got the high bid on that one. We got to concentrate on this one next. That's ending in five minutes. It's at $300. It's a 10 by 28. And you just don't know what's in here. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's a hodgepodge, guys. A lot of artwork. Yeah, we're fixing a bit on this one, too. We're going to wait till it gets down a little bit. And this is the highest price one right now. It's at $1,120. Did you bid on the last one? It was under two minutes. Yeah, and I've got the last one bid on. Got 15 minutes left there, 10 minutes left there. All four of these are in Cincinnati, Ohio. And the only problem I've got is I don't know what in the world I'll do with them if I win them all. But I'm not going to worry about that and cross that bridge when we get there. Cause our building's full right now. I've got this bid at with uh, 320 with two minutes left. So I'm gonna cross over that one just for a minute and see where we're at here. I'm gonna wait till it gets down in the three minute zone and bid on this one. This one here is, is getting down to nine minutes. And then this one here is down to uh, 14 minutes. Okay. And we still got the bid here at 320. So we got two minutes and 18 seconds left on this one. And like I said, you're probably looking at that thinking, what in the world is he bidding on? Well, the front of it does look junky, but the back end back here looks like it's packed good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to get that one at 320. And right now we're going to go over to this one at 330. And we're, we're three minutes and 55 seconds left. So we're going to start bidding on this one. I'm gonna put a bit of 460 in on this one. And we do have the high bid at 350 on that one. This is the one I really, really like. And let's see, this one should be getting down. Okay, we're down to one minute and 27 seconds on the first 10 by 28 in Cincinnati, Ohio. And we got this bid with three minutes and 19 seconds left on the second 10 by 28. We're gonna wait till this one gets down just a little bit more before we hit it. It's at 11.20 right now, $1,120. Uh, this is the fourth one that we're gonna go after. It's at 360. So let's see, this one should be about done. Got a minute and a 59 seconds left on this one. We do have the high bid at $320, 10 by 28. And this one, we they're, they're bidding on it. They extended it, so they're trying to bid up a little bit more on that one. This one is the one that we really want. And we're at 33 seconds left on this one. This may be the first one that we win. You can see the clock is ticking down. Let's go to the second one. They're trying to outbid us. We've got a proxy bid of 460 in. This one's down to 16 seconds. It looks like we may win this one at $320. We'll let it count down. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. We won our first unit in Cincinnati, Ohio, guys. All right, we can stop looking at that one now and go over to this one. And they're at 430 on it with four minutes left. And this is the one that's got six minutes left. This is the one I really like. And this one here has got 12 minutes left. So and it's a 360. A lot of merchandise, a lot of items in these. 
and we're going to invest uh, a little bit of money. They got they got me up to the proxy bid of four sixty, and this is a ten by twenty eight. They just outbid me, but we're going to go ahead and hit it up here. And they put a better proxy bid in than me. We'll wait a second here. I like this one too. We'll go ahead and hit it here. And we've got the high bid at 610. We'll see what happens there. This is the one I really want. There's five minutes left on it. This is going to be a pretty big investment here. And they've outbid me again. How high do we want to go on this one? I like it. I like it too. I like it. I'm going to hit it for 760. And we've got the high bid at 660. And this one over here is getting down to where I'm going to start bidding on it. And we've got three minutes and 12 seconds left on this one. And we're going under the three minute mark. So anything they bid now will be uh, extended for three more minutes. And let me let y'all see this one. A little bit of it. And this again is a 28, 28 foot deep. I see a lot of good stuff in this one, guys. A lot of good stuff. Amazing amount of items in this one. And we're at 710, so they extended it a little bit more. And this one right here is at 1120 with four minutes left. This one's at 360. Another one right here that's pretty decent unit, I think. Don't you, Ma? I do. A lot of tools, I think, in this one. A lot of tools. Yep. Look at that open sign yep. up there. Yeah. So they are bidding 710 on that one. We're at 1120, so we're fixing to start bidding on the big boy. Let me show y'all a little bit of this. This one is jam-packed. 28 foot also. 28. This is actually 12 by 28. Look at the old uh, wavy uh, glasses in it. That tells me that's pretty old there. So we're fixing to hit on that one. Let me see what the other one's doing. We're at 710 still on that one. So we got three minutes left on this one. Let's put a bid in. $1,360. And see what happens. Oh, we've been outbid. Let's put $1,560 in. $1,560. And we got the high bid on that one. Where's number four? Number three. Number three's right here. Okay. And this one is getting down to the wire. It's at $360. We're at $710 on this one. And we're at $730. Our proxy bid is $760. We've done one this auction, guys. Which that was the least one. I knew that. We're at seven. I just got outbid again on this one here. So we're going to bid again. We'll let it get down to close to three minutes. See where we're at on this one. We're still in the high bid on that one. That one's got seven minutes left. I'm trying to bid on four auctions at once here, guys. They're all in the same location. Uh, let's go in and hit 860 on this one. We got the high bid at 810. This one we're still at 1510 with two minutes to go. This one we've not bid on yet. It's nerve wracking, guys. We're down to th under three minutes again on this one. I'm at 810 on it. This one is under the two minute mark. Under the two minute mark, guys. I like this one better than any, any of them. I've got to keep up with this one over here. It's going to get down too. Let's see if they've extended this one once again. They've not. So we're at $810, two minutes and 40 seconds to go. This one 
We're at 1510 with a minute and 35 seconds to go. This one we've not bid on. It's a six minutes left on it. So we'll see what we got here. We're at 810 still with two minutes and 22 seconds. This one, we got one minute and 17 seconds left, guys. The excitement builds, guys, and I've got a problem. These are four units, three 10 by 28s, one 12 by 28. They're all the way in Cincinnati, Ohio, and my building's full right now. And what am I doing? I'm still buying these units. Oh, it's man. all for you guys <laughs> and for our business, of course. That I see a lot of good items here. This is exciting, guys. I've won one unit, and we got a minute and 48 seconds left on this one. So... We're at 1510 with 49 seconds, 38 seconds left on the big boy, 12, 10 by 28. I thought one of them was 12 by 28. They're all 10 by 20. They're all 10 by 28. All right, go back to that one. And we're at the big one. And we got 18 seconds left, guys. And this is what we're looking at. This thing is completely full. We got 12 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, baby. Bam! We got it. We got the one I really wanted. Now let's see about this one over here. We're still at 8, 10, and we got 52 seconds left on this one, huh? That was awesome. That was awesome. We got two units secured so far. This is the one that I'm going to be bidding on also, I think. Yep, you are. I am. I am, she said. Yep. We'll put a bid in on that. We did win this one, guys. We won that one. This one is down to 37 seconds, 28 seconds. Oh, my. My, 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 my. Harold, this is exciting, guys. You're enjoying watching this recording. We've won that one. We've won that one. And we're fixing to win this one, maybe. we got 14 seconds left. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam, our third unit. We've won that one. So far, we've got 320. That'd be 1130. 2640 invested in these and I'm going after the last one right here guys. We're fixing a bid on it. I'm going after the last one. Looks like we're going to be over $3,000 invested in these. But lord, you talking about some I think they're really good units. Going to have a lot of inventory to probably do us the rest of the winter. My only problem is going to be is where in the world am I going to put it? And we're fixing to hit this one for 400 and sixty dollars and see if we can get it with three minutes left to go <clears throat> and we are the high bidder at four hundred twenty dollars we'll see if that holds and while that's the clock's ticking down on that one we're at three minutes left and we're going for the monopoly on the four units we got three out of four They just outbid me. They put a high bid in there. So that extended this one. And I think this is a pretty good unit also. Yeah. And we're going to go for it. So we're going to go ahead and wait till that gets down. That extended it to five, five minutes and 32 seconds. You guys having fun watching this? Because I'm a nervous wreck right now. I've got so many things going through my mind right now. It's where am I going to put this stuff? How are we going to transport it down from Cincinnati, Ohio? Uh, it's just, a, like I said, we won this auction. I'll show it to you real quick again. Look at the how this is jam-packed in there. <coughs> See where it says watches and jewelry right there, which don't mean a lot. Uh, it's jam-packed, 28 foot deep. Really nice items, I think. And look at this china cabinet with them wavy, uh, that wavy glass in it. Love it, love it, love it. That's the one we won. Now we're going to go after this one. 
They're at 520 on it. I don't know how much to go. I mean, I've ran the gambit. What? This is the last one. We've got three of them. Let me overlook it again and see if I really want it. Yeah, that open sign, you want that. Buy that. Well, that don't mean a lot to me. I gotta see something else Everything's in here. Everything's blocked back there. You can't see. Everything's There's blocked. Tables blocking and stuff, and it's 28 foot. It's just like the rest of them. It is. Yeah. All right, we're gonna bid on it here in just a second. Let me refresh it. We're down to three minutes and 46 seconds. I'm gonna put a proxy bid of $660 in on it. Let it count down a little bit. I'm gonna hit it for $660. And see if we can make a clean sweep of all four units. Clean sweep of all four units, guys. Sounds good to me. And once again, I have the problem of where in the world am I going to put all this? Let's go ahead and get the bid in before the three minutes is up. And we are the high bidder at $610 with three minutes and six seconds left to go. So we just sit and do the waiting game now and see if they want to go any higher. And I'm going to relook at it again and see if I want to go any higher. Wow. You don't know what all's in there, do you? Shop backs. A little sled there. I think they just outbid me. What is that there? Is that a gumball machine? A candy machine? I think it is. That's a candy machine there. And there's something red that looks similar behind that. Yeah, box. that yeah, that blocked. could be an old. Uh, it's all blocked. That could be an old uh, Lance uh, candy machine. I mean, uh, like the peanut machine. All right, let's see where we're at here. They've outbid me. They extended the option, so we're going to have to go a little higher, guys. It looks like. Let me see what I'm up to. I got three twenty, and eight ten be eleven forty. It'd be $26.50. $26.50 is what I'm into it right now. $2,650 plus 10%. Let's see what I'm at. I'm in right now at $2,600. So if I go any higher on this, that's going to put me up. We're probably going to be looking at $4,000 invested in that's this. That's not bad, considering that at all. <laughs> Well, we'll put our 760 in right there and we'll wait till it gets down again. Wow. We're probably though gonna be looking at $4,000 invested in these four units, which is not bad, I don't think. No. Don't this think business, <laughs> excuse me, is a gamble. Uh, this is what we do for a living. Uh, this is nerve wracking right here. I'm, I'm glad that we've secured the other three. If they get too ridiculous on this one, I'll have to back off of it, of course. But I'm pretty satisfied with the three we've got so far, but I'd love to have this one. So we are going, and we're talking about the U-Haul bill too. So going to be a lot of investment in this one, guys. And we're fixing to hit it with 760 and see what happens. This is pre-recorded. I couldn't do it live for obvious reasons. We didn't want a competitor actually watching us bid on these. And we got to bid at $710 with 3 minutes and 11 seconds, but that don't mean anything. It could be extended again because this is what they call a soft close. Once it gets under 3 minutes, if anybody bids under the 3 minute mark, it automatically extends it another 3 minutes. So we'll see if they want to stop at 710. We're two minutes and 52 seconds away from doing a clean sweep. It's what we call a clean sweep. Monopolizing on one particular building, usually... Uh, locker, blocker. Locker, blocker, <laughs> yep. Uh, 
they just bid, they extended it again, another three minutes. They're bidding $20 at a time, $10 at a time. They're going to try to go after it. They're trying their dog goldness. They just hit my proxy bid. And guys, I'll just tell you, we're willing to go $1,000 on this one. And if they go much over that, we're gonna not, we're gonna let it go. I like this one a lot, though. I don't think you'll have to go much. They just outbid me. So let's see if they can, we'll go ahead and bid now and see if they can go ahead and keep from having to extend this thing. I'm gonna put 1,060 in and let them go from there. I've just put a thousand sixty dollar proxy bid in on this unit, and we'll see if they can go ahead and do their bidding and see if they want to go up that high. I was waiting till we got down to the three minute mark, but I decided this time to go ahead and let them bid and get their high bid in. I think I'm just looking at one other bidder on this one, <clears throat> so I went ahead and done it way before the three minute mark. And maybe they'll get their bids in and decide they want to pull out, and that way it won't extend it again. That's my strategy on this particular bid here. And they've hit it for 800 If it gets down under the three-minute mark this time without them hitting the uh, proxy bid, uh, they're probably going to pull out and not bid no more. Probably going to pull out and not bid no more. So as you can see, we're down to three minutes, 41 seconds. The bid is $800, and I did a different strategy. I was waiting until it got under three minutes, or close to the under three-minute mark and bidding, and then they was just hitting it extended in another three minutes. So we went ahead and put our proxy bid, maxi bid, maxi bid, max bid in 1,060. So they would have to bid 1,070 to knock me out. And more than likely, if it goes under the three-minute mark, they unless they just want to toy with me, uh, if they bid under the three-minute mark, they're just toying with it and trying to aggravate me. Or bid you up. Or bid me up on it. So we're under the three-minute mark on the fourth unit in Cincinnati, Ohio. I know the guys out there are watching this probably in the auction building thinking, what in the world is he doing? Mm -hmm. And you guys are probably saying the same thing. Where is he going to put it all? And we're at 237, guys. What do y'all think? You think I'm going to get it? My strategy on this fourth uh, round may have worked. May have worked. I don't know. We'll see. But guys, this is what we do for a living. This is the excitement of sitting behind a desk, actually, and uh, you're not right there at the unit like you see on TV. Uh, a lot of the companies are going to this uh, bidding online. You get to see a few pictures. You get to try to judge on some of the items in there, what you think the other items might be. And so we're looking at a minute and 52 seconds left. And we're going to see if we get it. I'm going to overlook it again, guys. Well, I got the camera here and sort of see what we want to do here. If we, I think we're going to be looking pretty good on this unit. I'm trying to see some of the other stuff that's in there. See, there's an older Christmas tree thing, and that may not mean a lot to some people, but to me, it, it tells me there might be older stuff in here. See, there's an older open sign, vending machines. Uh, I think this is another vending machine behind here. I think that's one of the Lance vending machines. Uh, let me see some other, what other pictures they took. And this is the old, like, mustard yellow table, uh, TV stand, I mean, a TV uh, tray. Uh... There may be some uh, pinball machines back here. I don't know. 
And that looks like an old school desk or a nice old chair. Yeah, that is a vending machine there. You can see it. And let's see where we're at now. They've not bid anymore, guys, and we're at 32 seconds. My strategy may have worked on this particular one. I'm at 20 to 25 seconds left. And we're waiting with bated breath, excitement, and also stress. Because now after I win these units, I have to start planning out getting the transport, uh, getting guys to go up there and get it. And we're down to two seconds, guys, and it looks like we did a clean sweep, a clean sweep, all four units, 10 by 28, was won by Uncle Jed's auction shed. Let's see where we're at on it. We're at 800, uh, 2310. 3120, 3430, and you add 10% to that. We're at $3,430. You add 10% to that. That's what the uh, web uh, site charges, storage treasures charges 10% on top of what we buy for. So what I say was that 3440, uh -huh. 3440, and uh, <laughs> that means 10% uh, on top of that would be 340 more dollars. 34, 37, uh, about $3,800 in the four units, guys. $3,800. My time's about gone, guys. We got about three minutes left on my storage here on this. I'll show them to you real quick again. There's the one unit. This is the other unit here. A lot of stuff in there. Uh, this is the other unit that we got. This is the one I'm counting on right here, being a lot of good stuff in it. And, uh, this one right here, uh, it's going to be a, it's a mystery. I think there's vending machines in there, maybe pinball machines. We don't know. But my best unit, as I wrap this up, is this one right here, I think. It is packed in there, packed nice. And guys, if you'll notice, right here, this is where they delivered like to elderly people. So I think this is probably a elderly person's items that was put in a, a rest home or passed away or something like that so i think we're looking at some really good items guys i'm excited so we got to start planning on heading to cincinnati ohio for you guys looking for some great items coming up uncle dread uncle dreads i may start wearing some dreads <laughs> uncle jed's uh storage hunting finds treasure hunting uh, guys it's looking good we'll see you guys on the opposite end as we're unloading this stuff all right, God bless y'all. Have a great day.